Hi, I'm Brandon Coburn. Welcome back to the Liberty Club Sports Wrap Up. We got some great action to show you from last weekend, including eight games from here at the La Haye Center. So let's get right to it. The men's Division I hockey team took on their rival Stony Brook Seawolves in a two game set last weekend. Game number one would prove to be a defensive battle as only the Flames were able to find the back of the net after two periods. But in the third period, the Seawolves would find a way to howl their way back in the game, scoring three unanswered goals to take game number one by a score of 3 to 1. The next night, the Flames offense caught fire as they would ignite to score six power play goals and take game number two, eight to four over the Seawolves. The Flames now 14-4-4 on the season will next be on the road as they face off against number 15th Davenport in a deciding game for the Blue and Grey Cup and number 24 Oakland in a two game set this coming weekend. The number two ranked women's division one hockey team faced off against number four Rhode Island Rams. In game number one, the Rams and Flames would be in a tight defensive matchup until the end of the first where the Rams were able to find the back of the net to take a 1-0 lead going into the second. The Flames would eventually snipe a few of their own over the next two periods to take the dub by a score of 4-1. In game number two, the Flames would come out on fire and take a 2-0 lead after the first period. Rhode Island would score in the second only to have the Flames answer back with a goal of their own to take the 3-1 lead going into the third. However, the Rams would go on a charge and score two goals of their own to force overtime. With momentum on their side, the Rams would carry them through OT and upset the Flames by a score of 4-3, giving the Liberty Flames their first loss of the season. The ladies are now 15-1-1 on the year and will next face off against number one ranked and defending national champs Miami of Ohio on the road this coming weekend. The paintball team competed in the second MSCC class event of the season at the University of Kentucky. The Flames would go on an impressive showing as Liberty's gold and red lines would both go 6-0 on the day, leading up to both teams having the showdown in the finals. Liberty's gold line would be able to defeat the red line to take the championship, giving the gold line its second tournament championship of the season. The Flames will now have a long break as they will be off for almost three months before they compete again which will be at the MSCC Class AA event number three on February 14th in Georgia. The Men's Division II hockey team faced off the University of Pittsburgh and Ryder University last weekend. The first matchup, the Flames would do battle against the Pittsburgh Panthers. The Flames would be in command of the game from the drop of the puck as they would score in the opening minutes and would continue to score as the Flames would take the game against the Panthers in commanding fashion to win 6-1. The next night, the Flames would take on the Broncos of Ryder University. The Flames would find themselves trailing after the first as the Broncos charged out to a 1-0 lead heading into the second. The Flames would eventually get their offense rolling and would be able to take a 3-2 lead in the second before Ryder would tie it 3-3 at the end of two. In the third period, the Flames would find the back of the net twice and would be able to hold on that lead as they would take the game 5-4 over Ryder. The Flames will next be on the road as they take on the University of Maryland, UMBC, and the University of Delaware this coming weekend. The Men's Division III hockey team took on Coastal Carolina. This would be the first meeting ever between the two hockey programs and would live up to the hype of both schools being arch rivals. Coastal would take the lead on the Flames early as they would score two goals in the opening minutes of the first period. But that would be the only lead they had, as the Flames would go absolutely coastal with an 11-2 gold tear on the Chanteliers and would defeat them 11-4 in the first game. The next day would prove to be much of the same story, as the Flames would continue to dominate Coastal once again and would defeat them this time by a score of 9-3 in another wild physical affair. The Flames will now be off the rest of the semester as they will next compete on January 16th to 18th as they will hit the road to take on the University of South Carolina and UNC Wilmington. Other teams competing this weekend are the men's volleyball team headed to Lancaster, Pennsylvania for a tournament at Lancaster Bible College and the wrestling team will head to St. Charles, Missouri to compete in the Joe Parisi Open at Lindenwood University. For more information on Liberty Club Sports, make sure you visit us on our website, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and of course, follow us on Twitter. For Liberty Club Sports, I'm Brandon Coburn, and thanks for watching.